Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you can see we also have Harry here in the background who may try and nag me um, to go upstairs. He keeps wanting to go and lie on my bed and he doesn't want to go without me so he keeps pouring at me to go with him. Um, but anyway, this video is going to be a book haul, something a bit different. Sorry about the lighting, um, this is the only angle I could put my camera where it won't fall over. <laughs> so my apologies for the lighting being a bit rubbish. Um, but filming on my phone, I don't have a proper camera for filming YouTube videos yet, something I might consider doing. So um, it is what it is, but hopefully you can see okay. So, as I say, I have a book haul for you today. There are six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven books. <laughs> might have gone a bit mad on the old Facebook marketplace. But um, yeah, there's a collection, uh, like combination not collection of fantasy some kind of self-helpy type things and yeah i just thought i'd share it with you so the first book i'm going to talk about is throne of glass by sarah j mass i am reading this with barbara and some of the other girls over on barbara's uh youtube i'm trying to think what's called barb's book what book world book what's it called i've forgotten bookland Barbara's, Barb's, Barb's Bookland. Blech. I will say that eventually. So she has a book club called um, Book Ones Across Borders and we are doing this as a read along together. I have not read anything by Sarah J Mass before. I do have one of our other books but I haven't got to it yet. So um, this should be interesting. This is obviously fantasy. You can probably kind of tell from the cover. Um, it's about an assassin as far as I can tell who got caught and um, what she has to do to kind of get out of her situation so this should be interesting the next book i have well i'm going to do the next books i have because this is a series and i got really lucky on facebook marketplace with these because i got the entire series for a tenner <laughs> so these <laughs> are cassandra claire's shadow hunter series mortal engines i believe they're called i have all of them so well all six there are two others, I believe, that go with this um, series, which are, hang on, let me see if I can read it, The Bone Chronicles and Shadow Hunters Codes. I think that's what that says. I can't see very well. It's on the back, you see. So there are six of these. This is the first one. I'm going to hold this one up because this is the first one. This is where I'll be starting. A lot of the girls from Book Club have read this or have been talking about this series. They started before me. Um, so this is how I heard about it and I happened to see it on Facebook Marketplace for not very much and thought I can't resist that um, and I need cheering up. By the way, if I look terrible, because I'm still not very well, um, I have a bacterial chest infection and a viral infection and I have to go to the hospital for chest x-ray later on today. So everything is very cheerful, not, um, but I'm okay-ish. <laughs> I just feel dreadful and I've got a really bad headache at the moment. So if I suddenly wince, it's because I've got a compression headache up here. But anyway, enough of that. I don't really know what these are about. Um, I'm kind of going in blind. But uh, I know it's set in New York. And I know there's kind of vampires and werewolves and stuff. So it should be good, hopefully. I'll let you know how I get on with that. And then, let's move those over there. Good boy, Harry. We have, let's do something that isn't fantasy for a minute. I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> I couldn't resist this. Um... For those of you that don't know, I have been on a weight loss journey for ugh, ever. Um, I was doing really well prior to lockdown. Unfortunately, lockdown kind of scuppered me completely. And I've been trying to get back on the healthy eating, but it's not going very well at the moment. Obviously, I'm sick and I don't feel like eating anything very much. Um, however, somehow I still don't seem to be losing weight. So confused. But this I read about ages ago. I've been looking for it for months. Um it's about why diets don't work and what you can do to re-establish a healthy relationship with food, which is what I'm actually trying to do. Um, I'm not so much currently about the weight loss per se as being healthy and eating better and getting the right things for my body, particularly being vegan. So I thought I'd give it a go. So that's that one. And then sort of in the same vein, I also picked up Atomic Habits by James Clear. Couldn't see that then. This one is one I've heard a lot about, um, sort of build, habit building, helping to ha manage mental health problems. For those of you that don't know, I have um, 
chronic depression and anxiety and PTSD. Um, <laughs> lots to deal with, but I'm cool. So this one is um, about how to sort of change things um, and what you can do to improve your life, I guess. I think it improve your life. Um, thought it'd be interesting. I recently read um, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. Quite enjoyed that book, despite it being quite um, different for me. I don't read a lot of self-help type stuff normally, but um, yeah, lots of lots of change going on in my life at the moment. So things that help me manage that are good. So I'm hoping this will be useful. And then going back to the fantasy, we also have another one that this one I got from BookSwap. Thank you, Barbara, for recommending BookSwap. She mentioned BookSwap on her channel and I looked it up. Um, it's a site for UK uh, residents where you can put your books that you've read up and swap with other people and exchange them, which I think is a really good idea. All you pay is postage. It's like £3 something. Um, and I got this little beauty. So this is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Ro Rothus. Roth Rothus. I'm not too sure how you pronounce him. Again, this is one I've heard a lot of people talk about. Um, debut fantasy novel. Really looking forward to this. It's supposed to have quite autumnal vibes, which um, I'm totally here for at the moment. It sounds really interesting. Um, so it's there's like a little review on the back. Um, an outstanding debut fantasy. This is the type of assured rich fantasy novel most writers can only dream of producing. So yeah I'm looking forward to starting this it's it's quite a chunk it's gonna take me ages because I'm not a fast reader but I'm looking forward to this one and speaking of chunks the last book in my book haul is this little beauty I couldn't not um I have heard everybody talking about this from girls at um Barbara's Bookland and the uh bookworms across borders book club to weeby booking to friends to everybody is talking about this book and I'm sorry, but the cover is just awesome. And I couldn't flip and resist it. Again, it's it's pretty big. It is... How many pages is this? Let's have a look, shall we? So this is... Oh, my goodness me. Uh, 719 pages? That's a big book. <laughs> that, that, I hope I like it. Um, I've not read anything by this author before. This is by Jay Kristoff. Um, this is his new one. Apparently he's written lots of other books, but as I say, I haven't read any of them yet. I just... It, it's a vampire book. Let's face it. I bought it because it's a vampire book. Um, but it does sound really good. Everybody seems to be really enjoying it. So hopefully this will be a really good read. And that's my haul. So it's not often that I get that many or little <laughs> sort of within a close um, space of time. But... Yeah, I haven't been feeling very well and I think I've been trying to cheer myself up. So now I have too many books and, and nowhere to put them. I need another bookcase. <sighs> Booktuber problems. <laughs> I have like four or five bookcases in my house and I still don't have room. I think I have a problem. Anybody else have this problem? Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this, this little short video. I wanted to come on and do something because... Um, Obviously, it's been like nearly a week since my last video and I'm trying to be a bit more consistent. Um, but there will be coming up a October wrap up and then my November TBR and then some other things that I haven't thought of yet. If you have anything you'd like to see, please feel free to leave me a, a comment down below. Um, and if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day and bye for now. Bye.